The Nigerian military is all about civil military relations. See how this special task forces approach strengthens community collaboration. Additional checkpoints are just one way Somalia is fighting back attacks from Islamist Al-Shabaab militants. But does extra security make everyday life more difficult? One man's water hyacinth weeds are another man's art. This group of artists in Cameroon create pieces of art in the fight against invasive plants. Africa 54 starts right now. Hello and welcome to Africa 54. I'm Chamberlain Nusso at Channels Television here in Lagos. I'm joined by Vincent McCurry at Voice of America in Washington. Well, thanks, Chamberlain. I'm Vincent McCurry at our global headquarters in Washington, D.C. Happy to be with you again for another edition of Africa 54. Let's start off with a look at strengthening civil military relations in Nigeria. Chamberlain also in Lagos brings you that story. Oh, yeah. The Nigerian military is seeking ways to strengthen collaboration with communities by improving civil military relations in Nigeria's north central region. The special task force, known as Operation Safe Haven, is organizing a free medical outreach and in some communities in Plateau State with the aim of building the confidence of the people in security. Well, Channel Television's correspondent Yami Kuzoko compiled the report. Military operations in Nigeria are targeted at reaching out criminals and terrorists to ensure security. In Nigeria's North Central region, that's the aim of the Joint Security Task Force, Operation Safe Haven. Their task goes beyond military tactics, as fostering friendly civil military relations is a key strategy. The task force is organizing a medical outreach in Mangal local government area of Plateau State. The free medical service include laboratory services, consultations, and diagnosis of various ailments for everyone. The chief of staff of the task force says this will help to build the people's confidence in the security forces. This should be the seventh outreach that we have conducted so far from uh, September uh, last year to this year. And uh, what, nece what necessitated it is uh, simply uh, to foster better relationship and confidence of the people to ensure that they give us the maximum cooperation and we also we assure them that we'll do our best to protect uh, the entire uh, area which we are operating in. Several cases of cattle rustling led to violent clashes around Mangu local government area which prompted the establishment of a forward operating base there. The security agency says increased security presence is yielding desired results. From uh, uh, sometime May last year to now since uh, it has been established, since it was established, the uh, number of cattle rustling has drastically reduced. Uh, uh, it might interest you to know from September to date there has not been any cattle rustling activity since the establishment of uh, this Ford operating base uh, under Operation Safe Haven. Apart from medical care, beneficiaries are also treated to free meals. The intervention is particularly beneficial as some of the residents are still suffering from the effects of conflict. At the time as these things are very difficult for us, most especially to access medical care, to cater for ourselves, the family season is almost setting it. So things are quite hard for us. So when I heard about this information, I was very overwhelmed with joy. And seeing that I came with over five people and they have received medical attention here, I'm very happy. Many of the residents desire that an intervention as this be conducted on a regular basis and extended to other communities also affected by crisis. <laughs> 